Hey, what's up guys, Max here. So let's talk BGs, let's talk Battlegrounds and the updates to the game. We've talked about it prior to this because we got a preview to kind of like what Kabam was going to be doing. But now that they're live and visuals in the game, we can actually see them and talk about it. So this is, or we're going to start off with the Alliance rank rewards. So every, every, uh, there's a Battleground situation, right? You're part of an alliance, uh, and this alliance gets rewarded for a participation as a team. Now, I'm, I am all forward for rank rewards as an alliance. I think it's a great thing. I think it's a great idea. I do support Kabam on this one. It sounds kind of weird, right? But I do uh, that they keep this going because uh, one thing I shared with them, and I'll share it here with you guys, is that uh, there is individual rank rewards, and those are amazing. There's bragging rights. There's uh, kudos. People know your name. People find out who you are um, for a player. And, and the more you rank, the higher you rank, the higher you rank, um, the more people will know, hey, this guy's really good. I get it. But um, when it comes to Marvel Contest of Champions so over the past years you know, of this game being out, uh, we've seen it strive and we've seen it going through stages and one of the biggest things that kind of held this game I, f I feel personally um, Together and, and just keeping people playing is when they when they figured out Hey, let's get the guys and gals play as a group Let's see if you know if we can group them together, which is alliances and create events alliance quests alliance war and now battlegrounds, you know um, it really makes for a big participation. It's not just not one individual, it's now 30 people participating for one achievable goal. And it definitely um, gets the juices going, gets the, gets us playing more, right? Gets us more time in the game, gets us talking about uh, with other like-minded people in line chats and, and Discord chats and just and, you know, and just communicating with with each other, and I thought this is a really good thing for the game. But when it comes to rewards, a lot of people don't like when it comes to alliance rewards because they, this battlegrounds. I understand it's more of a competitive solo mode, right? But battlegrounds alliance rewards are important, and um, as much as we're all competitive in one way or another, I think this is really good for the game. So, anyways, that's my spiel on that really quick. Um, did want to just showcase or just talk, showcase, talk about it because I did share that information with Kabam and I was like, dude, just, you know, maybe you should definitely focus on buffing or focusing a lot of rewards towards alliances. And I know, and if you're, if you're like not in an alliance and you're like, dude, I just hate being in an alliance, I get it. Maybe you just create your own alliance and you know control your own destiny when it comes to your alliance because now you have full control there's there's that option you have you know but being part of a group of guys that focus and push i think it's a really good thing so anywho uh alliance number one so if in battlegrounds you finish and you're part of this alliance um you're gonna get a fully formed catalyst because it's a selector and there's 25 percent of a selected four times so that's a fully formed catalyst that is huge as we're seeing that uh, as a nice update now this right now is a huge message to kabam by the way if you're watching this and you're hearing this and this is one of the reasons why i'm i'm really interested in making this video too as well is that um updating consistently the rewards you're gonna get more players playing the game invested in the game and buying items that you want to sell this is really important we need it we need to make sure that the game is being profitable in multiple ways monetarily right so buffing the in-game rewards are an important thing don't sleep on that you you might think well let's not give them too much you got to constantly be tweaking this we're seeing this as a spike season and this is season eight now of battlegrounds season one it was hot it was fresh it was new we went through it season two still consistent that was two months into it season three we started seeing a little bit of a die out people were starting to play less we started seeing like hey you know what rank rewards battleground rewards and they did the tweak they adjusted them a little bit mm, it's not so much worth it anymore i can do without it's fun it's frustrating the modders the cheaters now that i feel like kabam has had a little bit more of a handle or hands on to the modding and cheating situation that is going on in bgs um 
it's time for these tweaks that we, we're seeing here, which is perfect for season eight. But what I'm saying with this, don't just season eight and expect this to be the best thing ever and keep it for like, run it for like eight more seasons and be like, we won't touch rewards for the next eight seasons. Let them, you know, it took us eight seasons to do this. They can wait another eight seasons. No, 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 no. Like, I, the game and the progression of the game, it's fast paced. And I know we try to, like, you try to control it, but you need to constantly be, re, re, you know, updating the rewards. Whether it's in two or three seasons, it's important because if it's not constantly updating, there's no reason to be pushing. There's no reason to be playing. So here's ranked two to five where I sit and relax. I don't know what we're doing yet when it comes to like what we're going to be pushing for. Uh, but I know I am pushing. I am going to try to contribute as many points as possible because I do want to go into this top five or number one. But I do want to go into top five because I need these catalyst uh Basically, it, uh, I, I want to rank up more champions, you know, to rank five or rank two, seven stars, because we know those are important. So and that's one thing I'm pushing for, but not just if you, uh, and we've managed to land there multiple times in a top 10, top five, you know, here at Relax. So we got a lot of good players, uh, a lot of players that do uh, enjoy Battlegrounds, some players that maybe not so much, but they just do their part, you know. Again, that's the whole kind of, like, a, a, you know, alliance is working together, players working together. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, I can't, I keep, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, we got a bunch of rank rewards that are coming um, as a benefit, you know, uh, when it comes to like alliances. So whether you're gonna try to shoot for the top 50, the top, um, the top 25, the top 10, or the top five, or number one alliance. There's, I think this season's gonna be a spike in battlegrounds, and I, yeah, I hope Kabam gets some good data when it comes to this. Now let's look at the individual rewards. All right, so when we come to rank solo rewards, at the end of the season, there's gonna be a number one player, and this is where this player gets kudos for being, or for playing a lot of battlegrounds, especially with Elder Marks, right? Because that's how you get the most points. And spending quite a quite a good amount of money, they're going to be getting uh, five thousand seven star shards, and I, I I'm glad that they're adding seven star shards to this. Again, it's a great update. Um, the awakening gems are there. The six stones are huge. The fact that they're still adding a six star crystal, which is in shards, that's actually a good touch because whether they want to use it for a feature or they want to save up their stash to get more, you know, eventually when the feature changes, um, it's a good mix. Um, it's a nice little tweak. It's a nice little tweak again to it. Um, I do appreciate it. I would love to see maybe half a seven star, you know, so 7,500 shards would have been nice, not just 5,000. Um, I'm, I'm, and this is early talks because I, we don't know where Kabam is going to be uh, buffing the store yet. They did make an announcement. They said some seven star shards were going to be there. We don't know how much yet. So maybe Kabam's already kind of like trying to control, you know, and try to say, hey, we're going to give them uh, rank reward shards, but let's also not give them too many because we're going to give them some in the battleground stores and then we're going to be implementing here and there. So, um, but I would love to have half, at least half a crystal when it comes to rank rewards, at least for the number one player, you know? And the reason why, I, I mean, that's not a lot. It's not asking a lot because this number one player is probably going to be spending well over $500 to get to the number one spot. So you got to reward that guy with a bit more than just 5,000 shards. You know, give him, give him, give him me. I would say even a full crystal, like a full seven star crystal would be worth it. People that are in the top 10, people that are pushing in this top 30, they're, it's not free, guys. It's, to get into this top 30, you're spending good money. So it needs to be rewarded more than just 4,000 shards. These, these I don't feel like are worth uh, your, your the cost that you're going to be doing to get into the top 10. It, it, but I know if, if you want every single shard possible, then I get the motivation to push when it comes to solo rank rewards. I myself am going for the top 100. Uh, that's I, where my ideal situation would be. Um, and when it comes to my score, it's no secret. I am going to try to push as hard as I possibly can without just going overboard. I'm going to have a limit. I don't know what my limit is yet. Um, it's going to be depending on how much I can grind my units um, throughout the season. 
as at the same time playing battlegrounds so i gotta manage my time accordingly so we'll see how we do uh, but so far i've already started to spend some units in elder marks uh in playing battlegrounds but that's my goal top 100 uh when it comes to solo rank rewards like i said kabam did make an announcement here i will exit here you can see my score because it's day like two there's nothing big going on uh when it comes to my score yet so you know get a little look but then you won't be able to see no more <laughs> battlegrounds store is going to get updated too guys um we don't know yet uh, we missed out on the rewards for the update. I was hoping that they were going to do it at the beginning of Season 8. Once the uh, store got updated in Season 8, um, before Season 8 started, it didn't get touched. Uh, I kind of followed Kabam with multiple schedules and announcements they've done in the past and kind of figure out timelines that they might not want to share anymore because they might not be able to make it. But I assume here, this is just a big guess, that the battleground store is going to go live for season nine and if they don't make it for season nine it unfortunately would have to be pushed to season 10. Uh, but we're going to see how that looks you know season nine is going to be a big mix because we're going to be seeing kind of like fourth of july situation so we're going to be seeing a lot of things uh, happening around that time you know this is season eight is going to give us into into june towards the the end of June, um, early July, I think. And so, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how that treats us and what, you know, but the cap, by the way, the cap of right now holding tokens, it's 150,000. So a lot of people are trying to save, not use them. I say, just use them, you know, keep keep a high amount. I'm keeping, I'm, I'm 114,000 is quite a good amount, it's a lot. I'm gonna be buying some items in there, um, but um, I'm not going to go crazy and lose them all uh, because obviously I, I'm expecting that this season's going to go without updating the rewards for the store. So I'm expecting it to get updated for the next season. So because of that, uh, I know I'm going to get another large sump of tokens for next season. Um, and so I do want to go into next season. Since that's me guessing that that's when the story gets going to get updated, I do want to go in there with quite a good amount of tokens to see if it's uh, if it was worth holding off uh, and you know and saving not all of them but saving a bit you know for the next season or for the battleground update store but guys let me know your thoughts and when it comes to like everything i just kind of mentioned there was a lot of information in this video uh, a lot of thoughts and just messages across the board um uh, but uh what do you feel how do you feel when it comes to battlegrounds do you like it a bit more because of the updates to rank solo um does that motivate you a bit more to play them you know uh so far i've noticed a couple of fixes to the game itself and laggy buggy is still there but not as bad so you know as we go through season eight as as metas change it seems to to hit kabam server differently so hopefully it stays that way and it stays functionable um We've had some issues already, but nothing consistent, nothing like back to back to back that's happening like multiple times within an hour of gameplay. It's it's happening kind of spread out. But let me know, guys. I'm so happy with the rewards. I'm very excited and just happy to make even a video and play them live for like two to three hours. So subscribe, guys, if you have not. I would appreciate it. And you know, hit the notifications for those live streams because we are playing Battlegrounds, basically. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Really quick, guys. I can't believe I almost forgot the freaking juicy placement rewards when it comes to the Gladiator circuit, right? So we're going to be looking at the Mysterium 3 because typically that's kind of where I land. Um, and it got a nice buff. Man, do I enjoy this because now we're going to get some 7-star shards. A little bit of... Well... A huge bump, I would say, of the six star relic sh um, shards because I, until this day, eight seasons in, eight seasons in, I have not built a stash enough to open a six star relic just by playing Battlegrounds. And that was the whole intention of Kabam, Marvel Contest of Champions, staffing, saying, you know what, let the players get these six star relics through playing BGs. We're eight seasons in and I haven't been able to open one. 
the only time I've been able to open one was because of the stores and the offers and stuff that I was able to buy it. But yeah, I mean, I, this is a good bump that we're going to be able to see more six star relics. Um, again, this is only Mysterium three. So as you get higher, place higher, place higher, you're going to see a better bump. Now, this is much needed. Oh, my gosh. The tier one celestial alloys now instead of giving us fragments or getting a fully formed celestial alloy, which is really good. Again, bumping up the rewards are important. Um, and here's the updates to Mysterium 3, 2, and 1. Now, if you're if you're if you're a sweat, if you're a really good player, you're gonna be into the Celestial 6, 5, 4, or number one player, right? So here's those rewards, um, and it's kind of like what they look like. So they're gonna be getting two celestials with fragments. Um, and let's scoot those over just to see if there's any bump between placement. Nope, it looks like by the time you get to number three, it's when you get the third celestial. Number three and two and one, no, nope, nothing big there, but the frag, the shards are gonna be bumped up. That's what they're actually getting more of. But um, we managed in the past, I forget what season, maybe it was season four, uh, we were squeezed ourselves into Celestial 6. Uh, I, I don't know if it's gonna happen again. I'm sure it will. I don't foresee me like, you know, as long as, I keep enjoying the the game mode. Uh, I I can see myself getting back, getting some improvement in skills, and getting back into them. Um, um, but yeah, did want to cover this. Completely forgot I left this completely out in in this video. But um, what are you guys shooting for? Let me know if you're gonna be if you're like celestial caliber or are you kind of like mysterium caliber like myself. <laughs> I mean, there's quantum too. You know, even the quantum is getting a nice little bump too, guys. So everything, whether you're just playing. Um, make sure you get into the gladiator circuit. It's a lot easier to get to the gladiator circuit. The changes of that were changed too as well. So now peace, <laughs> take care guys.